Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Here we go. If you have the game, play along. If you haven't started already, if you uh, have started, just watch or play along as well. But we'll be playing in English. Begin game. I love this opening. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And here we go. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times playing together as friends, and at times helping one another out. And sometimes we just like to have fun battling. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. I do research to try to unravel those Pokemon mysteries. But that's enough about me. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Girl. M. A. Y. So you're May? Yes. I see. You're that May. You're the one who's moving to Litterroot Town. Where I live. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. It's an Azuril doll. It has a familiar smell. Hey, DJ. Here we go, and hey, everyone else as well. Welcome to Alpha Sapphire. Could that be a legendary Pokemon soaring through the sky? I don't know. We'll find out. Mate, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough to ride in the back of a bumpy moving truck all the way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be your new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, eh? Come on, you have to see the inside. 
do 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 See May, la la la. The moving Pokemon are doing the stuff. Thanks for all the hard work. We appreciate it, Macho. There's another Azuril dolly in the back. You should go see your new room upstairs. Dad even brought a clock to help celebrate, even though you don't really need to set it. You just need to talk to it. The hour hand was set to 20, and the minute hand was set to 13. I don't think clocks work like that. I demand to be a Trico. Unfortunately, most of the team has already been accounted for. Trigo is going to be my starter. Okay, confirm. Oh, mate, come quickly! We're going to see Dad on the TV, but we're going to miss it by a couple seconds. A meteor shower. What a shame. And we're outie. Now we gotta go say hello to the neighbor kid. What's up, neighbor kid mom? Oh, you're mayor next to your neighbor. We have a son who's about the same age as you. He has so excited making all the stuff that I don't want to read. I mean, read out loud. I'll read it with my eyes, but I won't read it, everything out loud. Hey, look, it's Brandon! What's up, Brandon? He's a confident young man. Pokemon fully restored items all packed. That, I read that like it was one sentence, but it was several things. You, who are you? May? Oh, you're the kid who just moved in next door. Huh? I didn't know that you'd be a girl. Dad, I mean, Professor Boat, b b b b Professor Bitchface told me that you were a kid of the gym leader. So I sort of hoped you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan. Well, I guess we're still neighbors, so... Nice to meet you. Let's be friends, okay? Huh? Hey, May, don't you have any Pokemon? If you want, I can go catch you one. Gasp! Oh, wait, I forgot I'm supposed to be helping my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time. I can't believe people back in the day thought his, that was his hair. Uh, even as it went out, however old I was when this came out, that always looked like a hat to me. Because nobody's hair is that outlandish. Woof! Hello! You over there, please help me out! There's some Pokeballs in my bag! Okay. I want Trico. Oh, Jared's a girl! What are the odds, man? There was like a 25% shot that was going to happen, and it happened. 
Does like gender swap the game? Because Beck the EV is a boy. Went on the tall grass to survey and all this. We know the story. I'm reading it. Like you can read it with your eyes, real quick. I'm not. I don't have to read everything out. His hair is not white! That's his hat! Oh my god. You're really your father's daughter. If, if I had a dollar for every time they tell you that in this game... Yes. Jared, the female Trico. <clears throat> On Tropicana, I'll go out of my way to catch anything anybody wants. So whatever you want to be outside of what I've already decided in my team, just let me know and I'll catch it. I will not be nicknaming the legendaries though, because I plan on—I don't like nicknames—and I'm trading them to my main game. So all the like Mirage Spot legendaries and all that jazz, any legendary besides outside of the main things that aren't also in uh, uh, Omega Ruby, I won't be nicknaming. So I'll catch the Reggies and Reggie Gigas and nickname them. But stuff that's version exclusive, I will not be nicknaming. I'm, I am using Lotad. I tweeted my team out the other day. I'm actually catching a low tad and naming it Sam. It's actually going to be part of the team. Remind us what the team is. The team so far is uh Jared the Trico, Sam the low tad, uh Beck the Eevee. Joshua the Torchic and uh, Shu the Swablu. And he never did say a plum. Ugh. Don't you hop down. Free potions. Wait, <clears throat> Punkle, are you playing along? I feel like you're playing along. <clears throat> Wilbur the Torchic. Oh, you are playing along.
I'm gonna sneeze. Also, I soft reset for a reason, because I'm in a Pokemon Center now. Good evening, Untuxable. Welcome to the stream. Get via the internet. Yes. What man thing? I don't know what we're talking. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, Sandy6067. Welcome to. Oh, I almost said Omega Sapphire. That's not the name of this game. It's the game on the right. Alpha Sapphire. Okay, yeah, we watched the intro once. We don't need to watch it again. It is an amazing intro. An amazing remake of the old intro. But, yes. Give my Beldum! Finally a good chat. Yes, our community, the TSG community... For the most part, this is the TSG community. Not many people follow me that aren't the TSG community. But yeah, we're all nice, and we say hi to people. Deposit Pokemon. Deposit Beldum, because I'm not going to use it. But I wanted to get it. Okay, back to the main game. Hold on, I just want to show this off for a second. If I can go back into the building. If I can stand a certain way, May twerks. I'm going to end it uh, as close as I can to Dragon Ball Z Kai starting. So as close to midnight Eastern as possible. Come on, May twerk. Twerking! Twerking! Hold on, let me get turned sideways. I want it to stand in the middle. There we go. <laughs> that gets me every time! I'm going to talk to all the NPCs just in case they give me things. I already forgot they don't give me anything. That was more stretching than twerking. It was, but whatever. I like to think of it as twerking. Because it looks like twerking. I know it wasn't twerking because it's a Pokemon. But still, it looks like twerking. It obviously wasn't twerking, but, you know, it just sort of looked like it. Get in there. Talk to the NPC. Don't talk to it 15 times, though. Whatever. Okay, so this one and that one live in Route 103. Oh, hey, May. Oh, so you finally got a Pokemon for my dad. Then how about a little battle since we're all here? I'm going to teach you about being what being a trainer's all about. Punch animation. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Brandon. He sends out Torchic. Go, Jared the female Trico. Um, pound. Wow, critical.
Anyone heard of the game Evolve? Nope. Can't say that I have, actually. It's just a battle of starting moves. And we're done. We win. Sorchik fainted. Level 7. No, you're not too shabby, May. Got 200 Poga dollars for winning. It was a good battle, thanks. Let me heal up both our parties real quick. Now let's run home. Do, do. Do, do. This guy over here is ex like surveying rare footprints. I've discovered a set of incredibly rare Pokemon footprints. Wait until I finish sketching, okay? Chokes on him, those are his own. Okay, I had to take care of something real quick, but we're back. Boom. Boom. We're home. Give my Pokedex. So I hear you be Brendan on your first try. Amazing! Yeah, I got the Pokedex. Okay, he gave me Pokeballs. And my mom's gonna stop me. In my main game, I've only played up till the first gym. Don't be afraid to come home. May's house. Professor Birch's house. Dang it. Stop stopping me. I actually love the Dex Nav. I didn't want to get caught. Good night, Sandy. Thanks for stopping by. Run!
Oh, this one does Thunder Fang. I've seen it have Poison Fang and Fire Fang. Oh, come on. Got it. Poochiana is an omnivore that will eat anything. A distinguishing feature is how large its fangs are compared to its body. This Pokemon tries to intimidate its foes by making their hair on its tail bristle out. And I'm out of here. Do you think this game is worth buying? Yes. Why is this Poochie in there? I got the Eevee from what we call Pokemon Y version. <laughs> 